Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a new YouTube series. So I am Motic and we've got five decks again that we're going to play on ladder. We're currently at 5,575, so I've dropped a little bit. I was at 5,892, which put me around about top 3,500 in the world, but we just had a load of losses and just dropped so much. I was playing this deck and I came against a lot of Expo Logbait, and as soon as I come against Expo Logbait, I just lose to this deck. It can beat most other decks, a lot of decks like Lava Hound, Tank decks like Golem, just because we've got the mini pack in there. So it's a really strong deck overall, but against bait and against expo, I just can't win. I haven't got any real big spells to take the expo down quick, and I haven't got anything for bait either, really. I haven't got any logs or anything like that. Mostly the bait player, just all he has to do is throw the golem barrel at the tower, and he'll always go damage. But like I say, with most other decks, we do play pretty well against it. So that's my deck. Most of the other decks I picked are just kind of top ladder decks. We've got a giant, giant minor deck here. we got the elect well the ice bow here we have a um, number four which is a new kind of 2.6 deck it's replacing um the 2.6 deck a lot i think a lot of people a lot of pros are actually playing this deck i haven't played it so far so we're gonna have to wait and see how it does on ladder my lumberjack is not maxed out yet it's still level 12 so we're gonna have to see how that gets on we've got the fifth deck which is the 2.9 Expo Cycle, this is kind of an original deck, I used to play this deck a lot, it put me pretty high up on ladder when Expo was really good and it's actually making a comeback as well so we're going to play this as well, so we're going to get into the first game, so if you guys are drawing the video so far, if you want to like and subscribe down below that'd be awesome and we're going to get into some ladder play, so we're going to get into the first game, hopefully we can get that 5600 or it might go the opposite way depending on what we come against. So, but yeah, with this deck, I'm just trying to build up the huts all the time, just defending all the time and trying to get counter pieces off. He goes for a furnace at the start. So we're going to go with Goblin Hut here. It's, Goblin Hut is probably going to take damage here. So not the best move there from me, I guess. We kind of want to make him force, well, force out something down that lane so we can actually poison something rather than just taking damage here. But the Goblin Hut does deal with that pretty well. I mean, they're pretty much just trading at the moment. We're going to go for Electro Wizard at the back. Maybe he goes for something pink here. He does not go for something big. So we're just going to wait up, maybe even think about going for Mini Pekka here actually, just to kind of defend this and maybe even push through a little bit here. So we're going to go for Poison, hopefully they're going to get taken down, so he actually goes for a Mega Knight, so Mega Knight's not too bad, we can control this, the Electro Wizard's kind of slowing it down a little bit, and we got the Baz there for a little bit of aggression, so he's probably going to get a jump on the tower here, because I actually didn't think he would have arrows there, but we do get the Miner in, he does come back with the Baz as well, hopefully he's not got a Miner or something along that lines. Otherwise, we, we're not going to be in a good position right now. But we definitely got a little, good bit more damage than he has. We're just going to push up this lane and try and get these huts in. And try and get some damage done. So we're going to go for the furnace, I think, at the start. Probably be the best idea. Maybe even go for the hut down the left-hand side. Let's see how this goes. So we're going to go for the furnace. We're just waiting till full elixir. We don't want to spend elixir too early just so we don't have elixir to try and clear up whatever he's going for. So he is going for a rocket on the middle. So I'm just actually going to go for a hut there. I'm just going to go straight for the hut. Should be too much of a problem. I know I can build stuff up here, just use the spell. So I'm going to go for a baby dragon at the back, knowing that he cannot actually get this down. So we're probably going to go for the bats. I want to kind of bait out that Mega Knight before he actually goes for it. Um, actually gets on the tower. So we're going to go for a miter in the back. He does go for Electro Wizard, so Electro Wizard is not too bad a move, but I think the baby dragon is actually going to turn around and kill it. And the miner's actually getting loads of tanking here from that baby dragon, so he's not really in a good position right now. So now he's finally thrown that down, this is not too bad whatsoever. I might even just go for, I don't know if I should go Electro's in the back, because he might actually have his uh, his uh, rocket coming up soon, so he's going to jump there. I'm going to try to get a P.E.K.K.A down straight away, but that just did not go down in time. We're going to actually wait here, we're not going to go too aggressive actually, this is probably not, obviously not something to go aggressive into. We can go for the baby dragon, just because obviously the Sparky does not hit air whatsoever. He's going for the other lane push, so I don't know about that. I don't know if that's a good idea from him, but he goes for the rocket on the baby dragon. What? Okay, I'll take that baby dragon rocket. So we're going to go for Miner here, and we're probably just going to go for this pretty soon. This is going to stop that completely and completely shut this down. We shouldn't have too much of a problem here. We're going to go for Poison over there to get some extra tower damage done. And this should be able to finish off most of this tower, to be honest with you. He's obviously getting chip damage on the left-hand side, but I don't think that Furnace was a really good idea. I think this tower is almost going to get taken down as well. We're just going to go for Goblin Huts. He might probably go for... um. Yeah, he might go for his, what's it called, the, whatever, <laughs> the Mega Knight. But we'll see what happens here. So he has, he is coming forward that I don't know if I should play this right now, but I feel like that's going to shoot at that. He actually knocks it onto the tower, so I just need to get one more poison, and that should be GG. So that was an easy win. He didn't, didn't really do too much there. He, dry, he tried to just go a little bit aggressive there with that Sparky, but it never worked. I had Electros in my hand every single time for the Sparky, and that was easy clear up. So he got a little bit of chip damage to my tower again. 
nothing too hard to beat so we're going to get into the next match that's us back up to 5600 and we're going to be playing with this deck so let's get into it right so this next match i haven't had great success with this deck so hopefully we can play pretty well this time but i think if any game we're going to lose it's going to be this one so we'll wait and see what we play against here i bet we come against something like a counter like pecker or something like that it always happens when i play giant i just kind of get really hard countered i have that and i'm just not playing it properly as well that's another thing I can't need to learn how to like properly counter push with this, so. Right, so he's got Valkyrie on the back, so we can definitely go for Mega Minion at the back, so I can slowly take that down. I could even kite potentially that over with uh, the giant, so I think I'm just gonna log here and probably go for Prince in the back. We need to do something about that uh, Valkyrie at some point. And um, we do have the Electro Dragon down, but I don't know if this is gonna be able to do much here, to be honest with you. But we've got a slight counter push coming off here. And um, we're gonna go for this. We're gonna zap it as well. Hopefully it doesn't get too much damage to the tower. He's not got a counter push of this prince though, so he's not gonna be able to do too much with this giant, I don't think. And um, we're gonna nuke it down pretty fast. I think hopefully the prince gets back over the bridge again, which it kinda does. No, it doesn't. It actually doesn't. It actually goes down. And um, so he goes for a rocket on both of them. So he, got to, he gets a decent amount of damage on my tower. And he gets a huge amount of rocket value. So that is not too good a start for me. I've got no real air in my hand, but we do have the fireball for the balloon. If he does manage to eventually get a cycle back to that pretty soon. So we might even just go for a giant at the back and just build this push up a little bit. I don't think he's got any real defense for giant either. Um, but we'll wait and see. He might have something like an Inferno Dragon. Something along that lines. But we do have Electro Dragon coming up. I'm going to put Prince in the back. So the Prince is obviously definitely going to catch up again with that. And we're going to go for probably an Electro Dragon as well. I'm just hoping that Prince stays behind the giant. I think it does in that position. And um, we need to kind of spread some of this stuff out here. We can't put it all together. So we're going to go for that there. We're actually going to go for the Zap here real quick. Uh, he's going for Elite Barbarians as well as a Valkyrie, so I wonder how this is going to play out. I'm just going to log there just because I want to keep the Prince alive as best as I possibly can, but he's gone for a uh, Musketeer, so... I mean, if the Dragon was definitely tanking that, that probably would have been a lot better, but we're going to see how he counter pushes this right now. So he's going to go for... he might go for the Giant, I don't think so, actually. And um, we're just going to go for the Mega Minion here, hopefully get some damage off there. We're going to go for a Giant again, I think. We really need to cycle to some air now because I obviously just put down that minion. So we're going to go for Electro Dragon here. We're probably going to lose this game, like I say, but I've just wasted that minion. I probably shouldn't have gone for the minion. Probably should have gone for something a little bit better than the minion. But I decided to go for the minion and the Prince goes down in the back. Tries to help take down that, but I think we're going to take a load of damage here from the Skeleton Army. I guess we're going to go in for this. Hopefully, we don't actually log the Musketeer, but I'm going to zap Fireball it. And hopefully get some damage on with the prince so we're not going to get any damage with the prince but it is tanking there so i'm going to go straight in for the miner we've got 30 seconds to go but it's not looking too great right now um we'll just wait and see what happens here so he might even just he's got rocket as well so i don't know there's a lot of elite barbarians on um on ladder at the moment for some reason i don't know why um we're gonna go for something here we got 10 seconds to go there's no chance we are going to win this match i do not think um gonna wait here put this prince down a little bit late but we do lose that game so I, I don't know i just never won with that match he had a weird deck there though he had skeletons and heaps of random stuff so but that was a losing that one i'm not gonna play this deck again we're gonna definitely just go on to the next deck because uh, i don't really like giant decks too much just because i get destroyed like that with all the time i probably need to preemptively put down log or zap or something along that lines but we're gonna get straight into this expo deck to the third deck now so we've got ice wizard and expo deck so this is a pretty strong deck a lot of people are playing it I think it's a good all-round deck if you can get a good matchup with it, but we'll see how it goes. We get straight into the match. So we lost that last game. Like I said, I'm not good with Giants, so hopefully we'll win and come back with Expo because I do like playing Expo a little bit more. More of the, the original deck with the 2.9 rather than this deck, but we'll see how this deck goes all together. So we're just waiting to see what he plays. He goes straight in for that, and we're going to log it, and we're going to actually cycle through to a Tornado, and this should be able to just get one swing in the tower. I mean, we wasted a little bit of Elixir just to get that King Tower activation, but... I don't see it being too bad. Um, we're gonna go for oh my God. we're gonna go for something because you know Royal Giants just been dropped right in our lap. And um, we're gonna go for <laughs> yeah. This is not a good matchup for me right now, but we could actually get some damage off here. We could because he just uses Royal Giant. He's not really got anything except for my Pekka running down my lane. Um, this match is just not looking good too far so far, but I don't think that Peck is actually going to get hit in the tower, especially with the King's Tower activations, but he's got Hog and he's got Royal Giant in his deck, so not really looking too promising for Expo right now. He might just rush down the lane with a Hog, um, but we're going to beat this Expo down. We're going to go for this. <laughs> it's just, this is just not looking good at the moment, is it? We're going to go for the thing, but we, <laughs> the Musketeer locked on to 
everything, so this is this is just really not a good matchup for me right now. I mean, he's got Valkyrie, he's got every single tank in the world for my deck, and yeah, and that's a saucer tower pretty much straight away, so um, yeah, it's just pretty much hard character. I'm gonna let him win, so All right, we're gonna get into the next matchup. Right, so we're looking at this deck, so this is a 2.6 deck, so this is a, diff a variation from the original 2.6 deck with cannon in it. Um, it's a little bit different. I haven't actually played it before, so hopefully we can get some damage done with it. I don't play Hog a huge amount, so again, this could be another deck we lose with. We have lost with the past two decks. Um, I felt we had a hard counter on this deck, though, especially coming against Ro Hog, Royal Giant, and he pretty much just had all the ground units, Valkyrie, just everything like that. So we're going to play this deck. Hopefully it plays out well, and we can push up a little bit more trophies again. I'll probably just stick with my original deck and ladder rather than going for all these end of season. I'm just going to testing out new decks it's quite early on in the end the start of the season so i don't really need to push too hard at the moment so it's just mainly testing out decks i guess so we're going to go for ice golem up this side and um, we got the goblins down and we have the musketeer probably going to defend this but we don't really need to musketeer here we might actually go for musketeer in the back over there but then i'm going to go for a hog push on the left hand side i think so we're going to wait and see i don't know if he's going to go for golem but we're going to go for this before he gets to go down so he does go for that i'm going to snowball this i'm going to lure this over with the skeleton so we're probably going to get quite a bit damaged on here especially with the bats connecting to the tower as well um i think he's definitely some kind of golden deck the bats have actually done quite a bit of damage on his side as well but they get taken down a lot faster but we got definitely a lot more damage than he does and we just need to keep this up a little bit um we're going to go for I don't know, I think I might just go for, <laughs> I don't know, let's just go for Ice Golem and maybe go for another push on the left hand side, I shouldn't have gone for a push on the left hand side over there, um, so we're just going to hold that Golem down, hopefully it just gets a little bit chip damage there, and um, we're going to go for this, plus the Hog in the back, and we're also going to go for Bats as well, so hopefully we get some damage off there, um, I'm going to wait to see if those Bats are managing to actually take that down, so we're getting a lot of damage on the left hand side, the Hog's doing so much damage, and the Bats are managing to actually clear up the Night Witch as well, so it's not really looking too good for this guy right now, um, I'm gonna go for Ice Golem here just to defend the tower so he doesn't get any more damage on the tower But he has got that uh, pump up I was expecting to maybe take down the tower first and then maybe take him out afterwards So we've got a golem coming forward now We've got still got the Ice Golem tanking there a little bit We've got the musk here eventually locking on there and we're gonna go for Lumberjack I don't think he's got Night Witch at the moment So hopefully we'll be able to defend this boost right now We're gonna go for the hog that here we're gonna go for this to actually try and push that back I actually lured it back as well so that wasn't actually too bad move whatsoever so the golem is eventually going down we do have tower damage here but um i don't know we're gonna have to wait and see how this goes we've got the ice golem down now trying to defend this we've got the rage up with something and he's gone for a double pump there so he, this is mm, i don't know he's definitely having an elixir at the moment we know that anyway but the thing is i don't think he can stop my hog actually from getting to the tower especially when he's spending elixir like that and we're gonna go for hog here we're gonna go for lumberjack behind here he knows that's gonna take down the tower and we're probably gonna go for trying to defend over here just um we want to try i just want to take, to take that pump down to be honest with you so we managed to actually take the pump down down now but he's getting a big push on this tower i probably should have just kept going on the other side because i think if i keep going like this we're probably maybe going to even lose the game because he's probably going to just three crown me coming in here so we're going to go for this here we're going to lumberjack here to try and pull something back and um, he has stopped the damage on the tower in the left hand side though so we need to try and defend this entire push now and we should be good after that so we're going to go for musketeer here he's put the golem in the middle i probably should have just gone straight in for hogs and um, the musketeer is trying to chip away at everything there though so we're going to go for this we're going to go for snowball i do not know if we're actually going to win this i think he's going to win purely because his golem deck is quite strong and he is going to win now because <laughs> because i just didn't go too great i should have gone aggressive on his main crown tower i think that should be the main thing um but yeah we just lost that game we took we got early damage off there but i just think i overcommitted on that side he saw it and he just went for the big push and pretty much got the, all the crowns there from me i guess so right we're gonna go into the last deck here and we're gonna go for it 2.9 so this hasn't been a good video so far from winning so hopefully we can win with this next deck otherwise we'll probably just stick to this deck on ladder more than likely so right we're gonna get to the next game and the last game so let's get into the game right so we're getting to the last game now so this is 2.9 expo so this is my original deck i used to play it loads but we've not been doing too well so far we won with my my deck i was playing or i made and um yeah that's the only game we've really won with so we're gonna go for this here the ice spirit to just try clear this up a little bit this should be able to take everything there taking no damage whatsoever maybe even gaining we did actually gain one elixir from that as well so we're gonna go for the archers in the back just to go for a little bit of a cycle here and um, he's going for he's going for the 
mega minion so i'm not too sure about that play we're just going to go straight for expo to be honest with you um he's i don't know what he's going to have to defend <laughs> it's oh my god why do we always do this and um, we're going to go for this i probably should log that instead actually but we're going to try and nuke this down as fast as we possibly can um and furnaces don't really do too much either we're going to go for the log as well just to try and clear a lot of this up we do clear the whole thing up we get the connection with the tower as well so we managed to defend that giant pushing forward didn't really get the connection with the giant there and we got a lock on the tower so we're hopefully gonna get a win this time but giant does do well against expo so i'm not 100 percent sure i'm gonna win this match we'll just wait and see and um, we got the archers potentially coming down in the back here i think this is gonna be a long game though i think i'm gonna have to draw this out quite a bit so we're i think again we're a little bit maybe ahead in elixir right now i might even go for a defensive expo pretty soon i'm just gonna go for expo on this side defensively he might go for a spell it down maybe something along that lines but hopefully yeah he's got lightning so that is definitely <laughs> not good for me anyway so we're gonna go for a slow push on the left hand side we're gonna go for this ice golem coming up and we're probably just gonna cycle through this stuff eventually so we're talking about the skeletons and the ice spirit so we're gonna go for ice spirit in the back um maybe tells on the front i don't know we, we need to get that expo back up again um i'm just gonna fire all this i think anyway and this should be able to either i don't think it knocks it to the other lane but i think we're definitely gonna be able to take it down there he's going for the it doesn't hmm I won't, I wonder, that should have died to be honest with you, to be honest, um, that, it took a lot to take that Mega Minion down, the Ice Golem had to finish it off as well, so, um, but he's going for Archers there, I'm going to defend this with the Ice Golem, just get some tank off the Ice Golem, he's not got Giant anymore, I've still got the Archers sitting there, chipping away, hopefully they don't go, they actually go down in one shot, and um, we're going to go for Expo here, we're going to go for the Ice Spirit, I do not know if it's going to be there in time, and um, we're going to probably just log this back as well just to try and get this down but then um, we're going to go for some skeletons there as well we're going to go he's got mega minion at the bridge so that's not good for me maybe a little bit over aggressive with that right there but i think we shouldn't be too bad here we should be able to take most of this down he just arrows over there so that should be too much of a problem we're going to go for the ice bit here just to try and keep some of these archers just hopefully so they can help defend this expo coming up so we're going to go for another expo again we're going to go for the log here and we're going to go straight in for some skeletons as well just to try and nuke down that giant as fast as we possibly can before anything gets over the bridge so i think maybe going aggressive with this um this expo is probably not so good i probably should just actually just try and chip away his tower as best i possibly can some skeletons actually get to the tower there so he's actually getting quite a bit of damage in with those skeletons i think i maybe need to get some kind of defensive expo down first and then go for the aggressive expo afterwards i could probably spell him down but he, i think he's actually got better spells than i do um as in like i think he's got yeah he's got lightning as well so um we'll see how this goes we're gonna go for telsa here just for a little bit defense in the middle just to defend pretty much anything that's coming forward we're gonna go for the fireball here and we're just trying to chip away this Ooh, that tells took a load of damage so that is not looking good for that Telsa. we're gonna go in for the arches in the back we're gonna go for another defensive expo and he's probably gonna maybe even get a lightning down there as well so we're just gonna go for a log here probably go for this telsa in the middle again and i don't know i don't know who wins this race actually i think maybe potentially i win the race if i just keep getting the chip damage done um we'll just wait and see how it goes because i he seems to be going further down hp than i than he seems i've seen, he seems to be getting me so um so we're just going to keep cycling through here we're probably we just need a few more quick cycles actually he's not going to get a good enough cycle off here to actually get me i don't think so um so we're going to fireball there we're going to just keep cycling as fast as we possibly can and it's going to be hopefully game pretty soon so we're, he's coming in with the lightning we've got the ice golem coming down we've got one more fireball to get we just need to cycle like crazy hopefully he doesn't get the lightning i do not think he gets the lightning beforehand and that is gg so really well played to pg pj there and um, but we managed to get the cycle on the end just defend that pushes he never dropped giant near the end he didn't really need to i guess he was just trying to out cycle me with that lightning and eventually i just was obviously cycling my spells you can see how fast an expo 2.9 cycle can actually take down a tower with just cycling spells it doesn't take too many rotations to get um, a couple of rotations out to go fireball to actually take them that tower but yeah guys hopefully you enjoyed the video today we did lose a couple trophies today i think we started off at like 5580 but if you guys want to check me out pushing seriously i guess and um, you can check me out live that's twitch.tv forward slash motic so if you just look below there and it will be the link will be below the stream as well so if you want to check me out live head over to twitch and i i think uh, yeah i've started to stream a lot more now i'm streaming sundays mondays mainly but i tried to get a few streams out during the week so if you guys want to follow me on twitch turn on my notifications you'll know when i go live so yeah guys thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed it and i'll see you next one